nuestro planeta húmedo tiene una sola mancha marrón donde no existe ningún grado de humedad. Es el inmenso desierto de Atacama. Patrizio Guzman looks outward and inward on Nostalgia for the Light, a documentary implicitly examining the scars of the Pinochet regime. The setting is the Atacama Desert, a base for the golden age of Chilean astronomy, yet also the site of concentration camps and the resting place for the disappeared. Peter, we're going to have to be guided by you on this one because Catherine and I haven't seen Nostalgia for the Light. It starts off as looking as if it's going to be about astronomy, and it, it is about astronomy. It's about what happened in Chile in the mid-70s when the Atacama Desert was found to have the ideal conditions to site an observatory. Uh, it, was, it had a very high altitude, it had an absolute crystal clear uh, atmosphere and a totally bone dry climate, it was perfect. And at the time, there was a kind of entire intellectual or clerical class in Chile that thought that this observatory in the desert was going to make Chile a kind of global and intellectual mecca, uh, that it was going to open up Chile in the most wonderful way. Instead, grim fate and history dictated something else, that Chile was going to be a closed society because of the, uh, the anti iron de coup and the general Pinochet regime. And of course, something else happened entirely. The Atacama Desert became famous for being the site of the concentration camps that Pinochet instituted and also where he buried a lot of bodies. Uh, really, this film could all, almost have been just about the Atacama Desert, mm. and it would have been fascinating. But it sounds like real psychogeography, doesn't it? It is. It? Oh, it is, in that the, the, it was the site of Chile's lost hope, really, as a, as a nation. And what he does now is talk to the, uh, the wives and the sisters and the mothers of the disappeared ones who are still searching for the corpses of their loved ones somewhere in this desert. And it's a real heart-rending needle in a haystack kind of job, and he interviews them and the results, just the simple interviews with these people, are absolutely stunning. There was one woman who's a, an astronomer whose parents were taken away by Pinochet, and she says that astronomy has given me a way of dealing with this problem. It's given a new dimension to the problem. And there's something overwhelming about, about this. It's a deeply intelligent film, deeply felt. Uh, the way in which astronomy is talked about, it isn't just a kind of chintzy little metaphor for anything. It's a real way of thinking and a way of feeling and a way of being human, insisting on your humanity in the face of this nightmare and this barbarism.